Hey guys, it's Target Recycle and FPV, and I'm actually going to do a real quick video on how to update your SkyZone 04Xs, and I'm doing this for a customer of mine, real good customer, and just wanted to, he wanted to make sure he was doing the update properly, so I'm just going to go ahead and help him out with that, okay? First thing we're going to do is, we're going to make sure, let me show you the computer screen here, and we're going to make sure that we take your computer screen, or go to your website, uh, go to the browser, uh, and type in skyzonehobbies.com, and then go to downloads, and you're going to get skyzonehobbies.com forward slash downloads, and you're going to get to their download screen. What you're going to want to do, I've already downloaded these, so I'm going to show you where they go. What you're going to want to do is you pay attention to this. You're going to want to download the Sky 04X firmware. You're going to want to download the Steady View receiver. And then you're going to, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to want to download and save the Sky 04X manual. Okay? Now, I've already done that, and they're all sitting right here in my downloads folder. I made a SkyZone folder, and in that, I put, uh, this doesn't belong here, by the way. Sorry, that shouldn't be in there. But in this folder, I put, Here's the three files I downloaded. Two of them are zip files, so when I extracted them, here's the extracted files, okay? Standard view is gonna be for your module, we're gonna go over that, and the Sky 04 x firmware is gonna be for the, uh, for the uh, goggles. So now when you're ready to do the goggles, here's what you're gonna do, okay? Now just pay cl close attention to this, and I'm gonna change the screens around just a little bit uh, so that you can watch what I'm doing, right? So here goes. Uh, let's do this first, okay. In the manual, what it says is, you need to basically take your USB cable, it's a USB-C, and just plug it in. That's right, so all you got to do for right now. Then take this wheel. This is the left wheel right here, right? You want to take this wheel and press it. Keep it pressed. While you press it, now I need to show you what's going to happen, though. So hold on a second. So while you press that wheel, okay, let me close this down. So all we have is this screen. Because what you're going to see is you're going to see a screen pop up. It's going to be a drive. It's going to be what's on the, on the um, it's not your SD card, because you don't even have to have your SD card in here right now. It's going to be <coughs> what you can write to on here. Right, so on your local uh, uh, memory there. So on your onboard ramp. So here's what you're gonna do. Hold the wheel, take the wheel and press it down. And while you're holding it, press the power button and watch the screen. Okay, there's my blank folder. It's called USB drive D. That's mine. Yours may, yours may have the same letter, it may have a different letter. What SkyZone says is, when you take a file and you drop it into this folder, it's actually writing it, okay? So here's what their manual says right here. Let me show you. So their manual says on the last page, it discusses updating, right? So I'm just going all the way to the bottom. So it says right here, even enable the, wait, hold on, the boot, but no, that's not it. Hold on, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, here, sorry. Copy the firmware file to the folder, not the SD card. Goggles will, wrong wording here, but goggles will install the update at the same time, which means once you copy it, it's written, right? So once it's done copying there, it's written, it's finished. So, and it says the same thing again in Raj. When the copying is done, the firmware upgrade is done. Okay, so, um, uh, let me see. It says the same thing here as well. Copy the firmware file to the folder. The goggles will install the update at the same time. When the copying is done, the firmware upgrade is done. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So here's what you're going to do. So I've extracted these two folders here, right? It's the ones I told you to get. And here's our D folder, which is what opened up when I did the pressing the scroll and uh, pressing the power button, right? So we're going to go to the first folder, which is the Sky 04X, and we're going to have A and B. And what I want you to do is I want you to I want you to just be able to see the um, folder from your goggles. I want you to take A, and I just want you to drag it over here and drop it. All right? And it's going to be copying. So we're going to get, it's going to start in a second here. It's pretty quick. A is, a is pretty quick, okay? So based on what SkyZone says, the firmware has been written. That's done. So what we can do now is when we go back up and we can go to D, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to, just to make sure it's on there, what we're going to do now is we're going to safely eject. So right-click on your USB at the bottom there, okay? and then just eject uh, the USB drive, okay? Let's see if we can do that, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna unplug the goggles. And I'm doing this only so that I can show you what's gonna happen next, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and plug the USB back in, hold the uh, left scroll down, press it down till it clicks, press the power button. Now when the D drive opens up, you'll see the file's gone. So what it does is it writes, it, writes the firmware already and then deletes it, okay? So now we're gonna go to the second file. We're gonna to go to B and we're gonna drop it. Now this is a bigger file, so it's gonna take just a minute to copy, okay? So again, what's happening is it's it's basically copying over. And here, let me um let me do, do this. Here, one, one, two, there. All right, so here's what's happening, right? So as it's copying, like you can see on the screen, uh, as it's copying, uh, it's gonna be writing. So what I did the first time, and I just use this as a rule of thumb, is when I upgrade a firmware, if I'm doing firmware like one after another after another, and there was some free sky, I remember some modules or something where we had to do the same thing. It's not that the newest firmware contains all the old files. In this case, you're going to load A and B and so forth, okay? So once you load that, um, it's going to write it and it's going to delete it, 
And then <coughs> I like to reboot or reset the goggles or whatever device I'm working on, make sure everything's been removed, everything went clean, and it did. So <coughs> now we're gonna do the second one. Then we're gonna stop and we're gonna do the module. Okay, now this one does take a little while. So let me tell you about these goggles while we're waiting. Uh, I set these up today. This is the first time for me to use these things and uh, I, will, um, I will do it like this. Uh, I'll, you'll just have to trust me that I'll tell you when the updating is done because it's not, I can see it on my screen. This is the first time for me to use these goggles and the only reason I did it is because I had a customer that was asking questions about it. And usually I'll test something out, but I kinda, uh, you know, I kinda try not to open too many things or else it becomes like a candy store here. Um, so here's what I liked. Uh, I think the um, screen is awesome. Uh, I'll compare them to the Fat Sharks. These stomp the hell out of the Fat Sharks, hands down. Um, uh, I've got the HDOs and HDO2s, and to be honest with you, I don't have to go beyond that because uh, um, we switched over to DJI after that. But I will tell you this, if I'm not flying DJI, then I'll be flying these O4Xs. And the O3Os as well, I love them too. So these O4Xs have a, a crisp, super crisp screen. Their menu options are awesome. I do like the dials. Um, I will tell you that dials and me don't usually get along because I got fat fingers, so usually I think I'm on the right thing and I press enter and I accidentally roll it at the same time. That kind of pisses me off. Outside of that though, um, I really haven't had that too much of a problem here. You do have to remember, remember the uh, commands for these things because I have to get used to the fact that pressing down this brings up the menu, pressing down this uh, circle in front of it, it doesn't go back on it, just like actually closes the menu down. I, that keeps, I keep forgetting that and sometimes I find myself navigating uh, a little bit longer than normal. Um, the record buttons here, I do like it, uh, which does bring me to something that I, I do have a problem with on this. There is, There does seem to be the automatic recording feature uh, to detect when you're recording. Doesn't seem to be on spot all the time. And I think I experienced the same thing with the fat charts as well. Sometimes uh, I remember I would think I'm recording and I'm not, and then I would think I'm stopping and then I start it. So I end up with this, like the point where you're not flying, right? And that's why I end up recording sometimes. So I've just gotten used to doing it by habit now. So I would tell you to manually set up your recording, all right? Um, and I'm gonna stop right there because the computer screen is almost done. So we just finished. All right, so with that done, we're gonna do a safe eject again. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that out. Uh, let's try it one more time. It says it's in use. It's not in use anymore, so now we can go ahead and take that out. All right, now, the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and carefully remove the module, okay? Because we wanna update the module also. So let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, um, I have to, I don't know if you have to, but I guess the way this thing sits, I'm just gonna take these off because the USB is right under here. So what you're gonna do here is similar. Um, you're going to basically, uh, there is the bind button. It's a real tiny button, and let me show you. This bind button, or this is right here. Not a bind, um, it's like, it reminds me of a bind button off of Free Scott, uh, <coughs> but it's like a, a boot button, I guess, or whatever. So, <coughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold that button down, and I want you to see the computer screen here. So let me just hold that button down, and as you hold that down, plug in the USB. Same thing, you're gonna get a, a screen that pops up, right? So here is the, again, another drive D, and in this case, we're gonna go to our steady view file, and we're gonna drop that over, and that is gonna write, I think it's pretty quick actually, and it's gonna write, and that's it, it's done. So we've now just updated the firmware on our module as well. So let's go ahead and do a safe eject. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Always the first time for some reason doesn't like me. There we go, so we do a safe eject, and now we're literally, we're officially done on the computer, so let's just get back to the goggles now, okay? So here's the goggles here, so now I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything back up, all right? There we go. So as I was saying, there's a couple things that, yeah, did seem a little glitchy. Um, one of them is the format feature, which I know some of you already heard about, and my customer told me, and I went and checked it out, he's right. So it's really weird because um, uh, you, you, when you go to format the SD card, um, you literally don't see a progression bar that goes with it. It just formats, but it's, it's like instant on, instant off. Now I'm gonna try, and I don't know if this is gonna come out, so I won't waste your time with it, I hope I'm not, but I'm gonna try to use the, um, uh, gog uh, the magnifying, the microscope here, to show you uh, what it's like once you use these, right? So let me go ahead and um, get this for you, and I'm gonna share the full screen and I'm gonna get power, but I'm gonna go get an SD card because I want you to see what I'm talking about. So hold on one second. All right, so I've got a standard uh, 32 gig, I think it's 32 gig, I've got a, no, 64 gig card. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, sorry, I know you're watching the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it real quickly. And then I'm just gonna power this up um, with my Fat Shark uh, battery. So here goes. And I'm gonna try to line this up on the microscope. So bear with me as I do this, okay? 
Hopefully I can get this lined up somewhat decent. Okay, so right now all you're seeing is the uh, trash from the snow, right? Okay, so check this out. I'm going to press the button here, which is going to be my, uh, uh, I wish I could show you guys, but it's going to be almost impossible. Let me see. Yeah, it would be impossible. I'm going to press the, um, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, the menu button, the silver one on the right, right? And I'm, or sorry, the, the circle on the right right here. There you go, and I'm gonna get my menu. So let me see if I can get this kind of straightened out for you guys. All right, so here's what we got. I'll try to keep it focused. And this is what I'm talking about with the format, for example. Let me see if I can do this though. Uh, okay, so I need to raise this just a little bit. Sorry guys, I'm trying my best to make sure that I get this for you. And I gotta get it centered onto here. And it looks like it might be more pain than it's worth, to be honest with you. Okay, so here is my menu. <laughs> oh my god, what is it? There. Okay, and the, the wobbleness is not the goggles. The wobbleness is my stupid microscope. And what's going on? Actually, there's something weird with it. Uh, I don't know if that's because I'm... You see. This is becoming a mistake. Let me see if I can see this problem. Yeah, it's like right in the center. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay. We can do it this way. All right. So there is our menu. Ah, okay. Finally. Let me lower this down. What a pain. There we go. All right. That I'll have to do for now. I know that light is just shining on there. I'm trying to turn that down. Maybe you can see it now. A little bit better. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna go to the system option. I'm gonna scroll, oh, that's the word, the scroll. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna go to DVR, actually, click that. And then I'm gonna go to format SD card. I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna turn it to say yes. And then watch. That's it, it's done. It says it's done. Um, and that's all it is. Um, so if you look at the auto record, I do have it on, but uh, I'm, it's not very dependable, so I'm going to go ahead and turn mine off. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to go return. All right, so uh, we do have our system here. If you go down to system and you want to go to, I'm not going to do the calibration steps right now. What I'm going to do is go to the um, uh, firmware version, and then from here, you can see on the bottom, there's our versions. 1.3.4. And 1.02.00.4, and if you look right here at the um, uh, documents, <coughs> sorry, downloads, <coughs> the Sky Zone, and you will see that in this version here, the release notes, it is 1.3.4, 1204, and 1234. So we've got our firmware on there well, everything's looking good, so we can get out of that, and then you can, uh, I mean, you can play with this area as much as you want, but there's really not much else in this that, uh, let me get out of this, there we go. All right, so getting back to the menu screen, um, I don't have my head tracking on, I've got everything else pretty much the way, it, by default that it is, so I'm gonna return and get out of that. All right, so that is, that is, um, sorry, I know that's kind of a pain to look at through there, I was hoping it was gonna be easier, guess not, but I tried. Um, that is the menu, and I've got a camera that can actually do it. So, getting back to this, I will tell you that it is the first camera, or first, goggle that I can wear that doesn't hit the bridge of my nose and I I got me an Arab nose you know it's like one of those big Arab noses and this bridge has always been a problem for me this was why I always wore suction cups but I don't have that with this the first time that I have a pair of goggles that actually fits nicely on my face there without hitting uh, the bridge of my nose um, I will change the antennas out I will put a patch antenna on here uh, and other than that I've been pretty impressed so far so that's out of the box and I did shoot a video with these today and it was pretty decent all right um, the, the quality was great. My flying wasn't. That's what makes it not so great. But I hope that helps as far as how to do the firmware update. This is just really a quick video. Sorry about all that uh, microscope stuff, but just wanted to show you the screen and everything. Uh, and outside of that, man, these are great, great goggle. Uh, so uh, if, you need any, if you need any help with them, though, if you have any questions, uh, just hit me up. You can always go to our um, Facebook groups and post it there, or you can uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then you can post questions here as well. I really encourage you to subscribe, please. It's 
pretty pretty cool when I just see people subscribing in. Like I said, I show my kids that stuff. And by the way, shout out to my kids, Ashton, Lynn, and Jaden. I love you guys. And I can see y'all in two days. We got the weekend together. We're gonna ride some motorcycles, guys. As long as it's not too cool. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. And please, most of all, spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, guys. So it's very important. You can always, always time to fly later. Okay. But uh, go go give them a big hug and have fun and happy new year, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.